So, as y'all seen the thumbnail, man, we got Errol Spence Jr. with two thought bubbles. And one side, we got Sean Porter. And another one, we got Kel Brook. All right. Now, why, why did I post these two? Because uh, these two are common opponents between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. And Terrence Crawford knocked both of these dudes out sooner uh and took uh took uh hell i don't know the right word right word to really say about it he pretty much made it look easier so to speak <laughs> he made it look easier than Errol Spence did man he got Kel Brook out of there in the fourth round he got Sean Porter out of there what was that the what was that round what round was that in y'all the seventh the seventh round, he got him. He stopped him in the seventh round, I think, right? Eighth, he stopped Porter. Errol Spence went to the cards with Porter. Errol Spence did knock out, pretty much stopped Kel Brook. It was late, it was a little later in the fight. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, it, it makes you think, man, especially when you saw how Errol reacted to Porter getting stopped by Bud at their fight, how he reacted to it. and Nodded, shook it off, and really got the hell out of there as if he was afraid that Terrence Crawford was going to call him out. I, I don't know if that's what it was, but, I mean, he boogied before. He was out of that ring before Crawford gloves came off, bro. It, it was crazy. He smoked it. He hightailed it the fuck up out of that arena, man. It was, that was just, that was crazy, man. I never seen no shit like that. Your arch enemy that you say you want to fight, you coming for his belts, he, he knocks out one of your common opponents and you jump right out the seat and you just haul ass out of the fucking arena instead of there popping your shit like, yo, Brit, yeah, he look good against Sean, but he can't do that to me. Let me see him knock me out. He like that. He's he light the ass. Terrence, you light the ass. Psh, nothing. My man just high-tailed it out of there, bro. So it got to have you thinking, man. Is a, 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 a part of this issue with making this fight Errol Spence being concerned that the same fate he suffered the same fate when he get in the ring with Terrence Crawford could that be a part of it who knows we'll have to find out and see man but I want to know what you guys think do you believe that Errol Spence Jr. has slight concerns and he's doubting himself when it comes to really beating Terrence Crawford and if he's worried about the same thing happening to him when he steps in the ring. Because let's be honest, man. Most of us, uh, we believe, man, the same, the next time, the, the same thing that happened to all uh, to all of uh, Terrence Crawford's opponents that walked away is going to, Errol Spence going to suffer that same fate if or when he steps in the ring with Terrence Crawford. That's just my opinion. Others may differ. But anyway. We know what y'all think, man. Drop a comment. Make sure y'all sub, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Remember, life boxing, baby. Catch y'all later.